Welcome to the second part of the tutorial about JBoss Tomcat MySQL and HTTPS bundle. In, in this video I will show you how to install a very very simple application. This is very similar to my previous video about just Tomcat, the single item Tomcat, but there are some changes so I think it will be for you to learn about it. I will also show you how to set up the MySQL, how to use phpMyAdmin, which I prepare especially for this uh, type of application. Uh, okay, let's start first with uh, the project. Let's create the project, I'll call it, for example, part two. Part two. Uh, please watch the previous part uh, in this way, you will be able to understand better, uh, understand better this part. So, we have the application uh, here, um, the project, and then create the application using this uh, JBoss Apache Tomcat 8, MySQL, HTTPS. Just start here. Okay, now I will use my own repository. I will change only what I need and this is important when you will uh, <coughs> use your own repository. So my repository is here. This is DB servlet for JS application MySQL, uh, JWS application MySQL. This is very similar to the previous application but with some changes I will show these changes later. So this is my application very simple database application. Then, this is important, I want to use the, my master. I don't have any version of my Git repository, so delete this part here. And the next thing, very important, my application is in the main directory of this Git repository. Also delete this part here. This is okay. Now, database name. In my application, I use the LLLC database. Later we see this is not so important what is the name, but for my application now this is important, so I'll call it LLLC. Uh, then, okay, as you know from the previous uh, example, from the previous video, uh, we will need to create this secret. So I copy the secret and then scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and here we have user and password. Uh, I will use the user with the name user. And the password of this user will be password. Okay, this is what I will use. And the rest I will just keep as it is. So create it. Okay, this information we need to create this, this secret here. So close it and go to this application. And very fast before we start uh, Tomcat, go to application, uh, sorry, uh, to resources secrets and create this secret of type webhook secret with our name and the value is just anyone. So you see, in this video I will not, I will not use the secure, secure root here, I will only use this one, so don't touch this, it will not work. If you want to use it, just watch my previous video and then you will uh, know how to set up everything here. So you see my my MySQL poll is working. Just wait for our application. Okay, when you just wait for our application, take a look on my sources. So you see in my sources uh, <coughs> when you go to my sources, you have this db info java which is a little bit different to the to the application which you saw before my previous video about tomcat only so you see that the difference is the host name in the standard uh, mysql installation the host name of mysql you can choose but the the the, the, the standard is mysql so here when you create uh, our current uh, type of application. The standard name is the name of your application, which the standard is JWS app. You can choose whatever you want. And then 
minus and MySQL. So we have a different name of the MySQL host, therefore I use this one. I will use this database LLC, I created this database. So the connection to application is very easy. You will, you will see the, the link to this application in the description. So go back here. So remember, this is the name of the database, or not the database, the name of the host of our database. And you can see here, you see the name here, JWS app MySQL. If you choose another name for your application, you see the same is here, and the same is here, the name will be different. Think about it when you will configure it and so on and so on. Of course, it doesn't work at this moment because we don't have our database uh, prepared. Therefore, we need to prepare our database. Of course, what you can do, you can just go into this MySQL pod, you go to the terminal, and you have all this MySQL functions connected with MySQL, so you can create your database. But we are lazy. We want to use PHP My Admin. So I will just install PHP My Admin just for 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 creating my databases and my database created my tables. But you know we have only in the in the free account only two pods. So the first step is to scale down the the Tomcat pod. Okay, now we will use PHP My Admin for this. We will need to add to our application the PHP pod. So go to add to uh, project, browse catalog, then choose just a pure PHP. This is it here. The next. And of course, we, okay, let's call this application P. Is or my admin, admin, and the repository is here. The repository, okay, this is it. You will also find this 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 link to this repository in your uh, description. And what is the difference? The difference is, is also very very little. Uh, the difference is in this config uh, in uh, PHP. Let's click on this. And then you will see that now the host name is JWS app MySQL. So if you choose another name for your application, then you will just need to change this if you want to use this uh, this, this this PHP my admin in your application. If not, if you just create this, this use the standard names, just you can take this installation which is prepared for the standard. So let's copy this link, this link uh, you will have also in the description and paste here. And this is it. And then create it and close and let's see what happened. Okay, you see we start with my admin here. Uh, we don't have uh, any other port pot working as uh, the, the MySQL pot, which we of course need because we will want to connect to this, this pot using MySQL, so it looks more or less okay. We download, we build, and then we will in a second deploy this MySQL, and then we will use this MySQL. This is the, <coughs> the URL of our MySQL. So let's wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay. When waiting for it, I will just go to my uh, my servlet just to show you. Oh, sorry, sorry, this is not here. Uh, sorry, this is my servlet. Uh, you see here, yes, uh, I have this my DB info, and I just use JDBC here directly. I create directly my connection. So when I go here to my uh, serverless, for example, to list products, you will see here that I get all the data about the connection. Yes, then I, then I use driver manager 
get convection using this data. This is not the preferred way for this type of application, but in this video I would like only to show you how to set up PHP MySQL. This is just an example. Just watch my next video, I will show you how to uh, use uh, this type of application in a better way. So let's return back to my uh, application. You see my admin is working, my SQL is working, so let's go there. <coughs> and you see we are here. Uh, one remark, I observe that if you don't use the English language as your language, you can have problems uh, when you start for the first time this PHP my admin. Don't worry, maybe I will also have these problems now. Now, uh, don't worry, uh, when you see some errors, just refresh this page, log in one more time, and it will work. So, the username is user, and the password is password. And go. So, you are able. Uh, no problems. Don't worry if you have problems. One more time, you use any other language, just if you see errors, refresh, log in one more time, it works. You see, my database is here. Uh, okay, for my example, when we go to my servlet example here, okay, you have the corresponding SQL in the SQL subdirectory. So let's click on this. Let's uh, copy everything from this part. Okay, it's possible to copy now, just when I just use row and then control A, control C. So this is my these are my tables, in fact one table. So go back to my admin. You can now create here your own tables for your application and so on and so on. Because I have prepared, I go to SQL, I paste it here, and then click on go. And then you see here. Okay, I have my, uh, just refresh it. Okay, I have my products database, which is empty at this moment. Yes, very, very little, very simple application. So let's go back. So our uh, uh, tables are created, so we don't need any more PHP my hand. You can keep it for later, maybe you will uh, uh, change something in your database. So scale it down because you will be not able uh, to start your Tomcat. You have only two thoughts now. Just wait uh, for our application here. Okay, zero pods. Now go back to our Tomcat and scale it up. Yeah, it should take just a second. Uh, think about it. If you just uh, are too lazy to, to configure the, the secure path, don't use this link, it will not work. The first one, HTTP, works well. Okay, just wait one, two, three, four, five, ten seconds. Click on this link. Okay, not available. Refresh, refresh. Okay, I'll just try to refresh several times. It will come. Believe me. Uh, if it's too long, I will just... Oh, please. Okay, so this is my application. So we can list all products from from the database. Of course, for the first time, there are JSP, they must be compiled. And then we can add new products, for example. Okay, a book. Uh, a book. And then price, one, two, three, four. And then submit. Go to main page and list all products and you see our book. So our application is working well. The links are in the description if you want to understand what I did with this secret and what I need to do if we want to have secure connection using the OpenShin certificate or your own certificate. Return to the previous part. Uh, of this this video to the part one and you will see how it works so thank you for now i start with the preparation for for the third video so see you soon goodbye